Welcome back, everybody. It is the John Pint Show. Stop stuttering. You didn't hear me stutter not one bit. They heard you stutter. <laughs> It is the Job Pine Show. What's good, everybody? Welcome back. Well, good to you, see you. Now she's throwing up gang signs. Where do you see me throwing up a gang sign? Let's keep your hands still. Why you got to talk with your hands, man? Because that's what I do. I talk with my hands. Mm -hmm. It's an expression and extension right. of my thoughts. Don't get mucked up in here. What? See? Mm -hmm. I ain't touching you, so as long as I ain't touching you. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Huh? You have to excuse the ignorant one over here. But, um, hey, yo, you touching me. I'm not touching you. Okay, see what I gotta do. I'm not touching you. Will, will you continue you. with the show? I'm not touching you. You wasting people's time. Listen, what's good, everybody? Calling you producer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's look into our next video. Gangstar Mass Appeal. Shout out to DJ Premier and rest in peace, Google. Sweet boy, my brother. <laughs> Let me say this about Gangstar. I love them. Prolific. They are a classic group. What I do like about them, in, comp in comparison to everybody else, they're like the Sade of hip-hop. Meaning that, that when they come out, they have a signature sound that's so hot that you just got to get it. You know what I mean? You have to get their the catalog. You have, to, you have to embody yourself in their music. You know, if you, if you live hip-hop, if you, if, you, if you are hip-hop, then it, it ain't that hard to be hip-hop, you know? So, once again, he's giving you who he is. Mm -hmm. And and once you see that, you can relate to that. You tap into that. So that's why that whole jazz thing worked for them. Because once they did it, nobody else could do it. The same way that nobody can nobody can be DMX. Mm -hmm. You know. All right. So here's our next video. It's N.W.A. Express yourself. Do you know what the the, the singular most beautiful thing about this? I didn't like the song, but I learned to love it once I realized Easy E wasn't on it. I think this was a song kind of just featuring Dre as Thank God. he because each this is from Straight Outta Compton album, their first album, and I think it, everyone had their opportunity to kind of shine. Easy E is not no MC, I, I know that. And he didn't write the rhymes that uh, Ice Cube actually wrote his rhymes. Yeah, and you could you could tell he wasn't a rapper just by the way he rhymed. He was so whack, corny, garbage, and and he, and he fooled the whole nation. And, and that's why I didn't really dig them because of that that that, elf, that infiltrator. And to me, that was that's not hip hop. And, that, and, and the when thing Ice Cube left, I think you saw who really was the writer. And then actually, you see their whole their whole like their concept. Ice Cube and was changes. NWA, right? But their concept and identity changes once he leaves as well. But you know, so rating this video, I give this I give this video, um, I give it a zero, basically. But. I give it, I give it like 100 for being a learning tool, because boys and girls, this is hip hop 101. Because you don't see, you don't see Easy E, any, any, you know, you don't hear him anywhere on this record. But he got paid all the money for these songs. He was on the road eating lobster and shrimp, and they was eating hamburgers, and um, they was working for him. What we got next? So our last video happens to be Ty Dollar Sign. Oh, I thought that said Billy and the Bitches. <laughs> okay. Um. Ty Dollar Sign, paranoid. Featuring B.O.B. Oh, that little dude. He's not little. I thought he was with Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars actually blew him up as opposed yeah, to him. exactly. Bruno Mars blew him up. And then when what about the time. airplane? So, okay, so so most of the songs that, that he first came out with his album, his first album, were more like pop. Not pop, but they were hip-hop, but it was like you had these other artists that you were growing with, and it looked like you were moving forward could, somewhere else. It could and be it that kinda, Biggie Smalls thing. Because you know, Biggie, all he wanted to do was gangsta shit. And and, and, Puff, and Puff was like, no, no, man, we gotta put. I'll let you do that, but we gotta put this out. This is what's gonna make us. It's almost like this is who he really is, not what he's exactly. So when he's we with call it bamboozled. Yeah. So when he's with Bruno Mars, and Bruno's like, you ain't bringing that shit over here. This is what I do. I got 80 million people check me out. So so he gets he gets that audience. Now when he gets his own shit, it's up to him. This is what he does. And I call this the no the no father complex. Because if you make, you make some shit like this to come home, you if you got a father, I'm not saying you ain't got no father, but I'm just saying, that this the no daddy complex. Because well, I'm going to smack the shit at you when you come home. Is this anything different than what we were rocking to when we listened to Doggy Style and Time? Ain't no fun if the homies can't have that. You know, like like a song like that. I mean, and, 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 and not for nothing, that, that I mean, that's a song that I do, I mean, I like, 
even though it's you know it's kind of disrespectful it becomes a guilty pleasure not just because of what not really what they're saying what, what but really saying. because of what really because of the beat and then it kind of and then you got Nate Dogg and it kind of like then you went when I met you last night baby and then you'd be like ah oh, and then you, he say some real foul stuff and you're like oh hold up but well, you, you is just, it the same thing as, I mean you, is you this just, anything you just, different you, you just tapped into it it's like by the same way that like Fight the Power that song it calls Revolution right it's like if it's done the right way a beat can make you sing you know bitch this I hate these bitches and you'd be singing and it's very melodic but this here you, you have to deal with what he's saying because the beat they ain't really doing the work. Let's get up out of here. All right. So thank you for joining us again. And catch us next week. Same time. Same pint channel. And hit us up on Facebook. Hit us up on Gmail. And hit us up on rapstation.com. I know you want me. I know you. I see you looking at me. <laughs>